Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing something a little bit different. We're in Toronto. I'm here with one of my good buddies, Kevin, who is uh, getting some shots for his Instagram channel. So I thought I'd join him and kind of do more of a vlog while talking about five financial goals that every Canadian in their 20s should have. So I'm really looking forward to this video. I hope you are too. Let's go. That sounds good, let's get it. Hey guys, we're at the Rogers Center, home of the Toronto Blue Jays here in Toronto. And this is also gonna be home to our step number one, which is invest in yourself. And when I say that, I'm thinking about three things and they are investing in your education, travel, and network. Education, now is the time where you develop your skills and get those marketable skills that you need. Now is also the time where you're the most free and you have the least amount of ties to family, uh, financial obligations and all of that. So take the time to travel and build some new experiences. And lastly, network. Use this time to, while you're getting educated and while you're traveling, to meet people. These people, often you hear the saying, it's not what you know, but who you know. And traveling and building your education will get you in touch with people who will help you and direct you to the path that you need to go for your success. All right guys, we're walking down Front Street and we wanna talk about step number two, and that is to stay out of debt or to manage your debt. So staying out of debt, obviously, uh, if you can, don't buy things that you can't afford basically in your 20s. Yeah. Don't try to flex and pretend like you have more money than you do. Live within your means and your future self will definitely thank you. And for those things that are kind of unavoidable, like going to school, and maybe you have student loan debt or whatnot, I'd encourage you to tackle those or to manage those as best as you can while in your 20s. You don't wanna be lacking on those payments and then defaulting on those payments because that's gonna affect your credit score, which we'll talk about later. Yeah. No, go ahead. I was gonna say, but there's also something about uh, debt. There's kind of some good debt that you might wanna take on compared to some debt, like credit card debt, that you'd wanna eradicate as quickly as possible yeah I agree there's all kinds of good debt um, as Nick said you can uh, go to school you know so obviously school is very expensive but in the long run it's gonna essentially pay for itself um, I also find that um, certain things like home improvements um, in the short term yeah it seems like it's gonna cost you a pretty penny but at the end of the day once you pay it off hopefully it's gonna um, equal a good return on the on the house yeah we think that um, if you have, oh, look how tilted my glasses are. Mm -hmm. What happened there? I don't know. But if you have debt that's over 5% interest, I think those are, the, those are the debts that you wanna pay off as quickly as possible. And if you have debt less than that, that would be okay because the ideal is that you're using that money instead of, instead of paying off whatever it is that you're going in debt for, you're investing it and the idea is you're kind of getting between six and 12% uh, rate of return on that investment. Yeah. So if you're kind of, if you're going into debt for something and the interest rate is over 5%, you're not really making any gains or being better off by investing because all that, all that gain that you're potentially gonna make is just gonna go straight into that yeah. debt payment. Yep, yeah. yep. Yeah. So pay those off as fast as possible. Yeah. Excuse me, sir, do you know how to get to Union Station? Sir, excuse me, excuse me. Can you help me? Hey guys, we're at Union Station, the hub of all transportation in downtown Toronto. And we're here to talk about step number three, which is build a good credit score. Now, building a good credit score in your 20s is gonna help you do a couple things. And one of them is get a house at a good mortgage rate, like my friend Kevin's done. And also, you're able to get any line of credit and potentially good credit cards with cash back rewards. Now how you get good credit is by having credit to begin with. So multiple lines of credit, such as multiple credit cards, lines of credit, car loan, etc. Now doing so and making timely payments will build your credit score so that when you need it, you'll have it. And if you wanna know more about how to build your credit score, I did make a video about this earlier and I'm gonna link that right here uh, for you guys to go watch right now and then come back for the rest of the video. 
Hey guys, we're on Bay Street, which is Toronto's financial hub. And this was a great time to talk about step number four, which is open up a TFSA. Now in your 20s, having that is going to be super beneficial because it allows your money to grow within a TFSA tax-free. So whether you have stocks, bonds, mutual funds, whatever, I'd encourage you to open up a TFSA and just start continually investing in that account. You wanna build in your 20s, you wanna start building on kind of your financial net worth, right? Yep. So doing it within a TFSA compared to a non-registered account can save you thousands of dollars in taxes potentially. So open that up as soon as possible and start investing. Now one example I have um, and what I use my tax-free savings account for was to save to purchase a home. Um, one benefit to that was when I was able to take the money out for my down payment, it was tax-free. The great thing about the TFSA too is once you take that money out, you gain that contribution room back in the next year. So his next year, he's able to recontribute that amount of money back into his TFSA and start saving and building again. All right guys, so we're headed towards some dinner and we're gonna just talk about our last step which is to start investing in your retirement. So in Canada, the best way to do that is open up what's called an RRSP, a Registered Retirement Savings Plan. Um, it's never too early to start thinking about saving for retirement. Let me just sit down here. Never too early to start thinking about retirement and when you start early, you get to harness the eighth wonder of the world, which is compound interest. Now, if you invest just $6,000 a year over the course of 40 years, you would have around $1.3 million saved, assuming a 7% interest rate. So that means you would have invested about over $200,000, but you would have earned about a million dollars in profits. So the earlier you can start saving for the long term, the better off you are. I've talked about uh, registered retirement savings plans and TFSAs at large in previous videos, and I will also link those here. Awesome. On, my fa on my face. On his face. Hmm. So yeah, those are the five steps towards uh, financial success that everyone in their 20s in Canada should look and strive towards achieving. Can you repeat those for me, Nick? Of course. First one, invest in yourself. Number two, manage or stay out of debt. Number three, build up your credit score. Four, start a TFSA. Five, start an RRSP. The best way I think to do that is through budgeting because that's a lot of different steps right there and a lot of things that we gotta take care of. And the best way to do that is to have a plan which is to create a budget and kind of control where your money's gonna go. That way you can tackle all of these things at the same time. For sure. Good all luck. Right. All right, let's go eat. Yep. One thing about downtown Toronto is there's no shortage of food places and females, as Kevin's on his dating app, uh, picking up all the women. But yeah, being downtown Toronto, there's a ton of food places to go uh, and a ton of culture as well. So you can really pick and choose whatever you want and you know it's gonna be top notch. Hell yeah. Got some chicken parm with Kev. to Kevin's house uh, if you've made it this far in the video thanks so much for watching um, I had a lot of fun shooting this video so I can't wait to see the footage and see how this video turned out but if you got value out of this uh, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing I make um, personal finance videos and tax videos on a regular basis so I'd really appreciate that and uh, check out my photography page Kevy take Kevy K photography link below link below I'll have that in the description yeah thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys next video. Cheers. Oh, yes. We did it.